Good day and welcome to our video on installation rules part 15 of paper 1. We look at special installations location section 7.8 temporary installations. General note, temporary wiring is wiring for installations used for activities such as temporary amusement parks, fates, fairs, marquee, voting stations, exhibitions, shows and flea markets. Construction and demolition sites are not included. See 7.4 for that. Control and protective switch gear shall be placed in closed cabinets, which can only be opened by the use of a key or a tool, except for the equipment designed and intended to be operated by uninstructed persons. The electrical installation shall be inspected and tested C8.1.4 and a test report issued together with a COC by the registered person each time after the electrical installation has been assembled on a new site. Supplementary equipotential bonding. In locations used for animals, supplementary equipotential bonding shall connect all exposed conductive parts and extraneous conductive parts, which can be touched simultaneously, and the protective conductor of the installation. If a metallic grid is laid on the floor, it shall be connected to the local supplementary bonding required for locations where animals are kept. Isolation. Every separate temporary structure, indoor or outdoor, such as a vehicle, a stand, or a unit intended to be occupied by one specific user and each distribution circuit that supplies such installations shall be provided with its own readily accessible and properly identifiable means of isolation. Automatic supply disconnection of cables, which is intended to supply temporary structures, shall be provided at the origin of the cables to each substrate distribution board by earth leakage protection devices with a rated earth leakage stripping current not exceeding 300 milliamps. These devices can provide a delay by using a device for discrimination with earth leakage protection devices that protect final circuits. Except for emergency lighting, all final circuits for lighting and sockets outlets shall be additionally protected by earth leakage protection devices with a rated earth leakage stripping current not exceeding 30 milliamps. Note, discharge lighting shall be connected to single phase circuits to avoid nuisance stripping of the earth leakage protection device. Insulation piercing lamp holders shall not be used unless the cables and lamp holders are compatible. Wiring systems. Cables shall be selected or protected to withstand likely mechanical damage. Where cables are to be reused or repositioned, flexible cables should be used. Conductors shall be copper and have a minimum cross-sectional area of 1.5 square millimeters. Uninsulated live conductors are not permitted. Unarmored single core cables are permitted where they are out of arm's reach and will not be subjected to mechanical damage. Electrical connections. Joints in cables shall be avoided, however, if required, they shall be made in an enclosure that affords a degree of protection not less than IP4X. Where strain can be transmitted to terminals, cable anchorage shall be provided. Where non-standard socket outlets are used as connectors to connect different parts of the distribution system, of a temporary installation, and if it is not possible to plug a standard plug into such a connector, sensitive earth leakage protection need not be installed for such parts. Socket outlets and plugs. 
An adequate number of socket outlets shall be installed to safely comply with the user's requirements. Floor mounted socket outlets shall be adequately protected from accidental ingress of water. Heat generation. Lighting equipment such as incandescent lamps, spotlights and small projectors, low voltage lights and other equipment or appliances with high temperature surfaces shall be suitably guarded and installed and located well away from combustible material to prevent contact. Motors. All electric motors shall be provided with an effective means of isolation of all poles and such means shall be adjacent to the motor. Any motor which is automatically or remotely controlled and which is not continuously supervised shall be fitted with a manually reset protective device to protect the motor from excessive temperatures. That brings us to the end of uh, this video. Please click on the playlist to see the rest of the videos in our series, as well as subscribe to our channel to be updated and for us to provide better content. And good luck with your examination.